crying. What's up? It's Jan back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Happy Stabathon, y'all. If you don't know what Stabathon is, it is a horror movie inspired readathon hosted by my friends Cam. Uh, why did I? What the fuck was that? I wanted to say Sav, but I started saying Cammy. Cool. I meant to say cool and then I started to say great. Cammy from Burroughs and Books, Naomi from Naomi's Library, and Sav from Riveting Reads. Some of my really good friends here on BookTube. Readathon takes place from October 4th to the 10th. The 10th is actually Naomi's birthday and I'm so excited for her. They have a bingo board with some prompts, but you know me, we're overachievers in this household. We're gonna try to do every single prompt. I'm wearing my Edward Scissorhands crew neck, these bat moon earrings that are from the small business called My Knotted Shop. You could use the code WITCHYAF10 for 10% off. I did a collab with her and oh, she's so sweet. I actually just finished Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney. I'm not counting this for Stabathon. It was for a Buzzwordathon actually. But I just wanted to talk about it because this is five stars. This is my new favorite thriller of all time. Like this tops My Lovely Wife. This tops The Last Flight. This tops Good Night Beautiful. Those are just some of my favorite thrillers. But this is number one right now. I absolutely loved it. The twists were incredible. The reveals, remarkable. The writing phenomenal I loved it it was just so well done like the author keeps you in the dark but gripped throughout the whole thing read this in like two and a half days it goes by so fast it's under 300 pages the chapters are really short multiple perspectives there are just so many good things about this one but my first stabathon book is going to be in this cute ass book sleeve that I got from Etsy isn't it my aesthetic in a freaking book sleeve yeah I agree thanks but I'm gonna be reading velvet was the night by Sylvia Moreno Garcia and this is also the Brujas and Books book club pick for October, which is a book club hosted by Cami and Naomi as well. So Sav's book club, the Lights Out book club, actually picked this for last month. So it all just, it's a full circle moment. But this is a noir novel and I just read my first Sylvia Moreno Garcia book last month for my book club, which is the Full Moon book club. If you didn't know, all the information will be linked down below. We read Mexican Gothic last month and I loved it. So I'm really excited for this. This is also under 300 pages. And this is gonna fulfill the prompts for read a book with Halloween colors on the cover, which is obviously black and orange, and then read a book by a BIPOC author. Honestly, I could just read this and then watch a scary movie and be done with the readathon, but you know, we're gonna see how many books we can read in the week. My biggest concern with readathons is just completing the prompts. I have a huge TBR for October, so if I could finish the prompts I need to complete this readathon and then continue with my October TBR, even though it doesn't fit prompts, everything will be great. So today is Monday. I don't have work today, so I'm just going to head over to my parents and do laundry, which we all know, if you've been here for a while, is an all-day endeavor because I live like five minutes from my parents' house. It's free over there, and they provide me with food and love and attention. So <laughs> we're gonna go over there. We're gonna read. I'm gonna bring my laptop and do a little bit of freelance work. I wish I could bring like my bullet journal because I gotta work on that, but that's just too much for me to handle. I'm gonna get some coffee. I'm craving some Dunkin'. Later, I'm gonna hang out with Jack. He gets off work at 6.30. It's about noon right now. That's the plan for today. I'm so excited to get started on Velvet Was the Night. My friend Christina from Christina's Chapters gave this to me. I read a couple pages of it and I just love the writing already. So I'll catch y'all later. Mikey can't tell if it's raining right now or if this water is just coming from the leaves of the trees. I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's definitely drizzling. Wow, I'm stupid. I just walked out here too. Ugh. Let me just talk a little bit. I grabbed a shit ton of fun-sized Sour Patch Kids. I'm excited to snack on them. 30 pages in. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of bored. I have a feeling it'll pick up, but the chapters are like longer. You know, y'all know how I feel about chapters that are longer than like 
four pages, okay? Oh yeah, it's definitely raining, I gotta go. It looks like there's gonna be alternating storylines. One is following Maite, and one is like, I don't even know what to call them. Is it like a gang? Hitmen? I don't know what's going on in the other perspective, but it feels like those like gang drug cartel type of movies everyone has like code names <laughs> throws me off oh i'm so mad that it's raining Ugh. okay i'm gonna go back inside i guess kind of nervous about this one i don't know if it'll be as quick as i think it's gonna be okay now there's a plane so take my sour patch kids and go back inside Six forty-five. I just got back from the gym. I was at my parents' house until like 5.30 doing laundry. I didn't even finish my laundry. I'm gonna go back tomorrow. So just so you know, that's where I'll be after work tomorrow. But Jack's on his way over, so I gotta hop in the shower. I have to drop off these Junji Ito books to my friend's house because he lent them to me. My Junji Ito vlog should be up before this one, so check that out if you haven't already. It was my first time reading manga ever, so that's a fun time, right? Velvet was the night. I'm kind of hooked, actually. Like, I don't feel too connected to the characters i'm just more interested in the characters now the first two to three chapters i was like damn i might pick something else up but now it's not that long so i know i'll regret it if i don't finish it you know because i'm gonna be like damn really i couldn't last less than 300 pages and it's my friend's book club pick but yeah my legs are like freaking jello right now those were my knees cracking i'm gonna go hop in the shower i will Hello, it is 11.55, privately sprinting with Bestie Jessie. Hello, hello. We're not gonna sleep until Jessie hits 2K on TikTok. That is the goal. I have work in about nine hours, but it's fine. <gasps> oh, crazy. They woke up this morning with 13 fucking hundred. How is this? TikTok is so stupid. It's so stupid. I got 60 pages into Velvet Was the Night and I just need to pause for the night. I am over it. I don't understand why they need to talk about a cat for three pages long. So I'm gonna go back to- Ow! Just hit my lip with this fucking tome. I'm gonna go back to Witches Steeped in Gold, which I haven't picked up since I was visiting Jesse. end of July. <laughs> I'm still 95 pages in. Remember that vlog when we stayed up and then I napped? I can't believe it was end of July. Isn't that wild? It's fucking October. That's crazy. Wow, we're so old. <laughs> oh wow. I'm on chapter 11 of this apparently. There are not many words on each page. Why is it taking me this long? Compared to Velvet Was the Night, this looks like a middle grade. <laughs> Honestly. I'm crying. Ew, I highlighted in this too. What is happening? Okay, well, I'm gonna go find a green highlighter and then ask Jesse to refresh my memory because I have no idea what's going on. If I finish this miraculously, it'll count for the BIPOC author prompt. But if not, I'll make some headway into it. With Jesse! They just chucked up deuces as if y'all could see. Currently behind the scenes of their selfies right now. No, I'm on TikTok. Of course, of course they're on TikTok. What is happening? Are y'all making a TikTok right now? I'm trying. <laughs> Hi, I'm at a long ass red light. So, good morning. I was thinking of breaking my book buying ban today and filming a come book shopping with me video, but Jack wants to come with, so we're gonna wait till tomorrow. My credit card's gonna be screaming because my debit card definitely cannot afford to be spent on books right now. Today I have work. I just started the audiobook for Clown in a Cornfield by Adam Caesar, apparently is how you say his last name, according to the narrator. Last night I got to page like 146 of which is steeped in gold which was a lot more than i thought i was gonna read i realized that that is one of my most anticipated of 2021 those are like my no excuses books like i'm gonna read every single one of my most anticipated so i have to finish that eventually that was my motivation i really want a bagel from dunkin donuts right now i don't know why i said dunkin donuts that's not even their brand anymore it's just dunkin it's way too early and it's gloomy and it's like kind of chilly i just wanted to snuggle up in bed all fucking day 
here I am. I really wanted to read Aquawar last night because as y'all know, I've been reading that since like fucking April, but I stuck to Witches Steeped in Gold. Sorry I'm like all over the place. What the heck is my brain today? All the time, but you know, today especially. Brought Velvet Was the Night with me to work so I could read it during my 15 minute break. After work, I'm going to stop by my place, grab my laundry, and then do that at my parents' house. I gotta do some freelance work. I gotta edit a video today so I could get it up by tomorrow because today is Tuesday, meaning tomorrow is Wednesday, meaning it's an upload day. Tomorrow is Saturday and Sunday comes after work. Yeah, we're trying to be consistent in October. I also gotta work out at some point. I'm so sore, I could not be bothered to get up early and go to the gym today. My whole body aches. I'm about to go into the Dunkin' drive through now, so I'll talk to y'all later. just got out of work got my flu shot doing my part you know also i checked out certain dark things by sylvia moreno garcia i'm gonna add this to my vampathon tbr because why the fuck not you know and it's like super short it's under 300 pages the text is small though so yikes velvet was a night is not gripping me and i'm nervous about it i'm gonna push through today if it's still not grabbing my attention i'm starting another book i also got a discard of another copy of Addie larue this will be my my fourth copy i'm gonna take the plastic covering off we get these for free and there's like no damage to it i don't know why it was about to get thrown away maybe we just had too many copies or something but you know i'm here for it i'm gonna drive now and listen to clown in a cornfield still on chapter one i finished the prologue on my way to work and someone already died so love that for me <laughs> I just picked up my package and it's my book of the month box. Yes, I technically, okay, not even technically, I did break my book buying ban for book of the month this month because I was planning on breaking it today actually. But like I said, Jack and I are going tomorrow to go book shopping. I just wanna also take a second to give my girl Alicia from Alicia Guzman a shout out because she told me she bought me the special anniversary edition of Addie LaRue. She told me today that it shipped. I literally want to like go over to where she is across the country and bow down to her and cry. Like that is the nicest. I unbelievable. Like she did not have to. Like I was literally just talking to her about how I probably can't book break my book buying ban today. The other day I was like, yeah, I just paid rent and like I'm struggling. So I'm probably because I was asking her about her book buying ban because she was going to do like a year long book buying ban. She's like, oh, yeah, I lasted till August. Like, I'm just gonna be more intentional. And I was like, yeah, that's really good still. Like, eight freaking months. Are you kidding? I was like, I could barely last the two months and a few days or whatever. I was like, yeah, I probably can't buy the special edition Addie LaRue. Hold off on it for a little bit longer. And then she's like, I'll buy it for you. And I was like, no, 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 no. You do not have to do that. Wow, I'm literally gonna cry. But anyway, book of the month. Okay, high key forgot what I even got. I got The X Hex by Aaron Sterling, which is Rachel Hawkins's pseudonym and this is a witchy romance. My supervisor put this on my radar. I don't know. I don't own a lot of romances, but I have two in just this box. I finally got my hands on the heart principle because I heard this one is a lot more hard-hitting and a lot more emotional than the other two in her little companion series. You know, the kiss quotient and the bride test. I loved the kiss quotient. The bride test was meh, but I have such high hopes for this one and I didn't want to just get it from the library because I know I'm I'm gonna want to annotate it because it talks a lot about mental health i heard excited for this also doesn't this cover like doesn't she look like michael jackson is that just me who thinks that because i can't unsee it you know and then lastly i got oh shit i just ruined the dust jacket i got the personal librarian by marie benedict and victoria christopher murray i've never read anything by marie benedict i know jesse loves them her I don't, sorry i don't know marie benedict's pronouns back of this 
so cute. So this is a historical fiction about a librarian. The main character doesn't tell her higher ups that she is the daughter of someone. So she's white passing and she doesn't tell JP Morgan. Hold on. She's the daughter of Richard Greener, the first black graduate of Harvard and a well-known advocate for equality. So then I guess issues arise because of that. I'm excited to dive into this historical fiction and learn a bunch of things. I'm just looking at how long the chapters are per usual. I'm gonna annotate the shit out of this as well, I already know. And then there's a bookmark that says, and then what happened? This exposure is not it, y'all. I gotta fix that, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna head over to my parents and do this freaking laundry. Like, look, it's all toppled in the back there. I'm gonna read Velvet Was the Night while I'm on the elliptical. I totally just forgot what this vlog even was. And then, yeah, stabathon, stabathon, stabathon. Jan, no. That I wore while you were here in June, Naomi. I keep forgetting. Hi, don't know what my hair is doing. Finally back home, it's like 11 p.m. I like just finished laundry, went on the elliptical. I was dripping sweat, <laughs> so I just like did not feel like vlogging afterward. But I did read a shit ton of Velvet Was the Night. So earlier, I tuned in to Stabathon Sprints with Naomi and Cami. I was determined to read 100 pages today. I did that. I'm on page 156 now. So that's like exactly 100 pages from what I read last night. But I'm gonna keep reading tonight. I wouldn't say it's getting any better. I'm just reading it faster because I've accepted that my enjoyment for it isn't going to change whether I try to absorb the writing or not. So I'm just like speed reading at this point. If I don't know what's going on, I'm just gonna accept it. At this point, it's damn near day three of Stabathon. I just want to finish this book. Like I'm tabbing it. So like obviously there are some really good quotes. There are some relatable quotes about how the main character deals with things in life and relationships and things like that. We're in the thick of it. The girl who's supposed to go missing is now missing based on the synopsis. But other than that, I'm really not connected to the characters. Probably the biggest reason why I'm not enjoying it. Because I know why some people aren't enjoying this because they go into it thinking it's a thriller like what Cami has told me. But I mean, I went into it knowing it wasn't. I'm just not vibing. Like I like the vibes of it feels like a noir film, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain explain it but it feels dark it feels like slow moving just like very sus in all aspects i don't know how to explain it so all the vibes are there i just don't like the vibes of the gangs and like honestly the alternating perspectives per chapter i thought i would really like but i'm more interested in what's her name maite's chapters rather than elvis's obviously they're gonna come together feeling at most this book's gonna be three stars i would not be surprised if it's a two i wouldn't rate it a one it's gonna take a lot to bump that up to a four i heard the twist at the end was good but like like people are saying Mexican Gothic is definitely better than this one. Don't know what I'd read next after this. So like I don't even have anything to like look forward to really because I'm not sure what I want to pick up next. I'm leaning towards The Nature of Witches or The Library of the Dead. I have yet to make my reading journal so I don't even actually know what my October TBR is anymore. I'm gonna try to binge as much of this as I can tonight after I hit the shower and do some miscellaneous things but now that's my reading update. Oh, my mom said she would buy me a book or two as a donation to my break of my book buying ban. So that's really sweet of her. We were gonna vlog and like buy books on Amazon together, but we were both like feeling ugly and we were just not up for it. <laughs> not on that, I am so bloated right now. I feel disgusting. I've been eating like shit all day today and yesterday. So I will catch y'all probably tomorrow. But we'll see. Hi, hello. I'm back from work. Love my fit today. You're not gonna see much of it because I'm actually pausing this vlog to film a come book shopping with me vlog. A drunk come book shopping with me. Because I am officially breaking my book buying ban today. So excited. And my mom, she gave me a $50 budget to pick out books on Amazon. She's such a gem. I'm so grateful. So I got three books with that $50 budget. You'll just have to see the come book shopping with me vlog to find out what they are <laughs> or follow me on instagram because i already posted it on there i decided today that i wanted it to be drunk so that's what's happening in terms of velvet was a night i'm less than 100 pages away from finishing my thoughts are the same the only thing that's changed is that i know i'm not going to dnf it because i'm so close to finishing it and i want to support my friend's book club and it fulfills two prompts for stabathon i will catch y'all later tonight after i finish book shopping <laughs> It's
it's like 1 a.m. now. I am about 37 pages away from finishing Velvet Was The Night. I'm getting sleepy, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it. But if anything, I'll wake up early and finish it because I wanna be done. It's day four of Stabathon tomorrow and I've yet to finish a book. I'm like 30% into Clown in a Cornfield the audiobook. I don't know if I'm liking it, honestly. It's like average. I knew it was gonna be average, hence why I didn't pick it up physically while Jack was taking a nap today. I started reading a Nat Galley arc on my phone called I Am Margaret Moore. I don't remember the author, but it has black and orange on the cover. It takes place in the summer and technically it's about kids because they're pretty young. I mean, it's YA, but I think it's like the younger side of YA. I don't know. I think it's written in verse or like really short prose, so it's going by pretty quickly, but it translates to the phone weirdly. There are just like random headings in the middle of the page, but anyway, I think I really fucked up my knee, y'all. Like, oh yeah, you could definitely see that bruise. Yep, that's what I'm dealing with. I'm literally limping. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go to the gym tomorrow. If I'm really feeling it, maybe I'll just do upper body. I was really banking on doing legs tomorrow and I'm really bummed that it like really hurts. I don't remember if I even said but I slept on my staircase during my drunk book shopping video and busted my shit and now it's really hurting. I iced it for a little bit. It's a struggle over here. It's brutal out here but yeah okay I'm gonna keep reading Velvet Was the Night but I'll probably update y'all tomorrow morning. Jeez, I was kidding. Quinn caught herself staring daggers at Janet through the rearview reflection but the other girl refused. Good morning. It's disgusting outside. I just want to stay home and read. It's pouring. I can't wait to be home again and I haven't even left my apartment yet. So I DNF'd I am Margaret Moore because read a bunch of reviews and there were a lot of two-star reviews and I just like don't have time for that, you know? I'm like 17-ish pages away from finishing Velvet Was a Night. Again, nothing has changed. Just ready for it to be over so I can move on. I think the next book I'm gonna pick up for Stabathon is The Nature of Witches because the last house on Needless Street involves, I think, the kidnapping of a child. So, like, it could go for the involving children prompt, and then the nature of witches could go for the summer prompt, because the first part of the book is literally just called Summer. So, if I finish Velvet Was the Night and then watch a scary movie, I'm pretty much done with Stabathon. I do want to read more than one book for this readathon, though, so. Oh, and I want to finish Clown in a Cornfield. I just showed a clip of that. What the fuck? But yeah, I'm obviously in a lazy, gloomy mood. I can't wait to get a an everything bagel from Starbucks. I had one for the first time yesterday and it's bomb. So I'm gonna finish getting ready for work and I'll talk to y'all when I get back. Sorry for the raspy morning voice. It's not it today. Hey y'all. It is like 3 p.m. now. Why is this exposure so freaking high? I just got back from work and then I went to eat Panera and while I ate Panera in my car, I finished Velvet Was the Night. But before I talk about that, I just want to say I also went to go pick up some like moving boxes from this stranger. <laughs> I found on Facebook Marketplace who was giving away a shit ton of boxes for free. Life hacks if you're moving. <laughs> Just obviously if you're comfortable with it. I was really lucky because I knew the area because I used to babysit in that area. They were like around my age and they were really cool and they helped me like load my car and stuff because I went alone so it was really nice of them. Oh uh, my camera's dying. I'm about to go pick up a package from my parcel room. I know exactly what it is. So I'm so excited to unbox it. And then I'm gonna go to Starbucks with Laura and we're gonna take some pictures for a book that Macmillan sent me and she's gonna help me. So excited for that because my outfit's gonna be extra. I have a vision. But anyway, I gave Velvet Was the Night two stars. Yo, I don't even know. I didn't feel connected to any of the characters. I didn't care about the storyline. The twist, I didn't care about. The ending was dumb. The only reason I gave it two stars as opposed to one is because I love the author, I love the cover, and there were a few notable quotes. This is like one of the fewest tabs I've ever used for any book. One of the fewest tabs. One of the books that I've used the fewest tabs on. You know what I mean. Do you know what I mean though? I don't even know what I mean. I'm really disappointed in this one. I have high hopes for Sylvia Moreno Garcia's other books though. Like I really want to read Untamed Shore. I heard that one's really good. Since I love Mexican Gothic, I will still give her another chance. Maybe I'll watch a scary movie today just so I could get a bingo and feel accomplished with my life. Clown in a Cornfield, I'm definitely going to try to finish today because I have like an hour of it left and I'm listening to it in like two and a half speed because 
because it's just like a fun book and I got to like the thick of it where <laughs> every time I say that, every time I think of saying that, it's like in the thick of it, you know, that TikTok. I don't know why I'm making a TikTok reference as if I have a TikTok, but anyway, 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 anyway. The reveals just started happening. I understand what people say now by how it like has social commentary about like relevant things about the past few years, if you know what I mean, and how shitty it was. <laughs> I like that part, so it's sitting at like a two to three at the moment in terms of star rating, but we'll see how it ends. There was a part where I laughed out loud, like burst out laughing, and then there was another part where I got a little bit spooked because I hate when audiobooks sing to me. It is so creepy no matter what the situation is. Like it could be a happy ass contemporary and people start singing and I'd be creeped out. Yeah, my camera's dying and I gotta go and charge this for the unboxing. So I will see y'all with this exciting package. <laughs> I gotta do this quick because I just started charging my camera, but I just got back and I'm screaming because Alicia put to Janalicious. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, come on. It was so close. I'm literally like hyperventilating. Oh my God. <laughs> Stop. Not happy birthday, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, happy Valentine's Day. Literal tears, y'all. Okay, 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 okay. It's the ribbon bookmark for me. Like, <laughs> the end paper. I'm not ready. <laughs> I had no idea that's what the <laughs> crying it says i remember you on the back and then the constellation on this bird <sighs> i'm sweating i am sweating profusely actually <sighs> wait this will fit perfectly for a secret tbr i'm doing in november that i was having trouble finding a third book for beautiful beautiful we're doing a reread in november y'all for freaking sure thank you so much alicia i'm so 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 forever grateful oh my god it's spark literally glittery literally glittery oh i hate myself yo i'm gonna go take some instagram photos i can't believe i gotta go i gotta go <laughs> wow i really do be sucking at vlogging lately <laughs> laura and i had a whole ass like hour and a half of chatting and i didn't even pull out my camera in my defense it was charging but like i look like this because i took bookstagram pictures and laura helped me out but yeah i'm about to like take all this off and start editing slash random freelance stuff and then also packing i got one box done last night but i started packing up books that i've read already just so like i have somewhere to start you know because other Otherwise, I don't know where to start with my books, so. Oh, I finished Clown in a Cornfield. So that was for the prompts. Read a slasher and read a book that involves kids. And I asked Cammie, because Cammie's the only other person I know who's read that book. She said she definitely counts it as involving children because anyone under 18, she counts as children. But yeah, I gave it three stars. I listened to the audiobook, so I was quite distracted for a lot of it, but the ending was pretty good in terms of writing and social commentary. Not not much plot okay there was plot in the story for sure but it wasn't anything special like it was a slasher so it was like fun to listen to it was nice that i didn't really have to pay attention to specifics i just you know was entertained i guess and like i knew people were gonna keep dying so it wasn't shocking to me the big reveal happened and since i wasn't really connected to the characters i wasn't really like affected by the reveal at all so there's that but i still gave it three stars because i really like how it subtly okay there was one part that's not so subtle but like one specific line if you know you know otherwise it was pretty like well weaved into the story that this book was a nod to like the injustices of the last presidency yeah it was a nod to that it was well done in that sense so if you're into that i would recommend it but i gave it three stars i don't think reading it physically would have made a difference 
for me. If anything, I probably would have just dragged even longer reading it. I'm gonna pick up The Nature of Witches for the last two reading prompts, which are a book set in the summer and a book with supernatural vibes. First part is literally called Summer. I'm gonna read my ARC copy because I don't wanna annotate in my first edition hardcover because, you know, the pretty naked book, that's only a thing for the first round of like prints. I don't know how to say it. I'm blanking out. I haven't eaten dinner yet. So I'm gonna annotate in this. I picked out my bookmark and it's of course my Hocus Pocus one because it's a witchy book. I'm excited to finally start this because I've been wanting to read this since like I heard about it in March, April. I got the art copy from my friend Christina from at the Literary Lifestyle on Instagram in like May and it came out in June. So here we are, procrastinating as always. I'm gonna go get shit done. I'll talk to y'all when I have an update. Yeah, I know I look good, yeah, I look fly Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just your type I'm a, I'm a baddie I'm a, I'm a baddie Yeah, I know I look good, yeah, I look fly Baby, I'm, baby, I'm just your type I'm a, I'm a baddie I'm a, I'm a baddie Yeah, I know I look better than all the girls that you know before Had your chance, but I'm not playing anymore Silly boy, silly boy, silly boy Feeling good, change my hair and you can't ignore I'm in my bag, in my bag, shout it to the yard I would be so ahead if we're keeping score Silly boy, silly boy, silly boy I don't need a man, yeah, I'm okay, good by myself Okay, that's what I have My bookshelves are an absolute disaster There's no rhyme or reason to anything I think I'm done for now That was kind of satisfying, not gonna lie I just know I'm gonna need a lot more boxes <laughs> Me too. Mom bought me KFC and guess what? She forgot gravy. I know, that's my fault. It's like she doesn't even know me. It's like I'm not her, her I was offspring. Rushing, it was almost closing and then the car behind me, cause it took me so long to figure out what I'm gonna order. So the car behind me is probably upset already. So <laughs> that's a long explanation. No one cares anymore. Yeah. I forgot the gravy. Okay, that's a great clip. Glad I'm wasting time editing that. <laughs> them stuffing their fucking face. I'm hungry. What are you eating? Peanut butter chocolate crown mix. Mm. It's so good. They're ruining our ambiance. It's fine. I'm just kidding. I was about to get a second bag. <laughs> It's afternoon. My feet are so cold right now, y'all. So Jesse and I stayed up till literally like 3 a.m. I got up at like 8.30. Jesse asked for a wake-up call, so I called them 10 times before they answered. And I video chatted them, didn't respond, because they had a dentist appointment this morning and I'm literally their mom and have to give them a wake-up call. Ew. Sorry about my appearance right now. Probably like almost 1 p.m. And I ordered some brunch. I was really craving McDonald's, but I got caught up in editing my drunk book shopping vlog. That should be up before this one. Well, duh, because it's uploading right now. So check that out if you haven't already. It's pretty much my morning and then, oh! The point of that was that I missed McDonald's breakfast and then I was still craving breakfast food so I ordered a skillet which I'll show in a later clip because it's gonna be delicious. I got it delivered to me which was too much money for me to handle at the moment but you know it's fine. Okay now I'm gonna talk about the nature of witches. So I got to page 80. I'm annotating the living bejesus out of it. It was cool reading with Jesse too. They're not reading this book but it was fun like talking to them about it and then like writing down 
some quotes that Jesse has said in response to me reading some like cheesy YA lines. It's been a fun time. I did note that I really like, I really hate this neckline, oh my god, that I really like how this isn't like one of those cliche witchy books where the main character didn't know she was a witch or like wasn't aware of her capabilities, didn't know her powers and what her powers could potentially really do and whatever. Like you are thrown in immediately into the magic system and she knows exactly what she's capable of. She knows that she's a dangerous witch because she is a rare witch that has powers in all seasons. She's called an ever witch as opposed to the other witches whose powers are only strengthened or whatever during their season. There are, like I said, a lot of cheesy YA lines. Some of the writing is very mediocre and Jesse and I were kind of laughing about it, but I am enjoying the story so far. I'm enjoying the vibes. The vibes are definitely there. I really love that her black cat is named Equinox. Like one of my favorite words. I love it. And it's Nox for short. I'm on chapter nine. I just want to fly through this book. I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad it's living up to my anticipation and all the hype that it's getting. Okay, I'm hungry. So I'm going to watch Jody's new spooky 24 hour readathon vlog, which I started while I was putting makeup on. And it's just all the vibes, y'all. If y'all aren't subscribed to Jody and you like fall vibes, like get on that now. Even if you don't like fall vibes, she is just gorgeous. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her so much. I'll have her channel linked down below. couple more boxes now I need more boxes but I can't be bothered to go to my car to go get them so I was gonna go take a nap but I decided I need to seize the day you know it's Friday it's my day off I actually gotta like get shit done now I'm just like kind of not this turning into a freaking moving vlog trying to decide how much of my books to pack for now since it is still kind of early in the month and I don't want my bookshelves to be empty in my videos you know these cobwebs are struggling though like <laughs> looks so bad anyway I have a package I don't know exactly Exactly what it is because if you've seen my come book shopping with me video that I just uploaded you'll know that my mom bought me three books out of the kindness of her heart to break my book buying ban with me these are like the ultimate spooky reads that I've been wanting all their covers kind of match no not the damage are you joking this is why I hate ordering from Amazon one of the many reasons look at that damage y'all I'm kind of pissed I'm kind of actually pissed. That's like what's gonna be seen on my shelves, you know? No, I'll probably face this one out. But it's Empire of the Vampire. This freaking tome. Is it just, ugh, it's just plain black under the dust jacket. But ooh, that blood red inside. I had a dream about this book last night, like looking at the illustrations. But I had a dream that I had like a full color version. Ooh, ooh, stop. I don't wanna show that in case it's a spoiler, but I think I just spoiled myself, but also like I'm gonna forget it in two seconds. Okay, the chapters are really short, which is what my supervisor told me, which made me actually wanna read it. The artwork is stunning. There are illustrations all throughout. I'm so here for it. I wish I could finish that in a week for Vampathon, but we all know I can't do that. Okay, it's small as hell. I could definitely buddy read this with Ashley from A Frolic Through Fiction. We're gonna buddy read this for Vampathon. Carmilla by Joseph Sheridan Lefanu. This is a classic gothic tale that came out 26 years before Dracula. And I just found out today from Ashley's like Spooky Rex video actually that this is actually sapphic. So maybe I'll even pick it up for sapphicathon. Maybe I'll save it for Vampathon so then I could read this and Dowry of Blood and then at least like get halfway through hunting Prince Dracula. I'm so excited. And then lastly, 
Okay, no damage on this one, y'all, but The Death of Jane Lawrence by Caitlin Starling. Ooh, that deep maroon. So this is a gothic horror historical fiction. This cover is just everything. Wow. Let's see how long the chapters are in this girl. Oh, they're not bad. Some of them are bad. I'm excited for this one, though. I know this is Books and Lala's book club pick for either this month or next month, but y'all know I can't add this to my October TBR. Bad enough that I'm adding this one, but don't you love this edition? Because I do. I'm obsessed. And I love how they're all black and red. <sighs> Thank you so much, Mom, if you're watching this. I love you. I'm gonna go fix my hair and appearance and stuff and get into like probably a different hoodie <laughs> or something. I think I wanna read on my balcony because I wanna make some headway into the nature of witches. It'd be great if I could finish this today, but that's a long shot. But yay, more books to pack. <laughs> okay, update. It actually just started drizzling, so balcony is a no-go for the day. I am still gonna read a little bit though, and then I have to, have to, have to start on my reading journal because it is now the 8th, and I have yet to set it up. I have my bullet journal, like my life bullet journal with my habit tracker and stuff set up, which is the one that takes longer, so that's fine. We're gonna read The Nature of Witches. Ooh, I'm gonna make coffee because your girl's struggling to stay awake right now. Also, this is so sad. I clearly off that top shelf of like my classics and school books and stuff. Oh, my shelves are a mess! I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine I take the long way home Avoid what I can't let go I don't always think about you But sometimes I do Cause sometimes I drive through All of the streets we used to On First Avenue Cause sometimes I don't even where I'm going at first All of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface The feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you Till First Avenue That's when I do Okay, I definitely lied when I said like she knows her full potential When it comes to her powers Because she doesn't but that's not because she doesn't know of them. She's just too afraid to use her powers to their fullest extent because she knows it could be dangerous and she just like doesn't want to hurt people. She doesn't even want this type of magic. She was just born as an ever witch, you know? So like, she didn't ask for this life. I'm on page 125 now. It's hard to stop. The chapters are pretty short and like the font is pretty big so it's going by really fast and there are really good quotes especially in the beginning of chapters you know how some books do that where there are like there's a quote under every chapter heading yeah that's what's happening here there are a lot of like autumn related quotes i really like how the magic system is related to the weather and obviously nature so yeah that's pretty cool i just want to keep reading probably read a couple more chapters but i gotta go to the pharmacy and pick up a prescription so i'll finally leave my apartment and then i'll probably like do some random things like i'm accepting that my apartment's gonna be a whole disaster until my new place so it's fine oh wait i said i was gonna do my reading journal huh Shit. Okay, that I definitely have to do before Jack gets here around 7 and it's 4.30. I'll figure it out. But for now, I'm gonna keep reading. I don't know. I'm feeling like it's gonna be a four star just because the writing isn't like five star material, but the story and the vibes are. So that's my prediction for now. Oh, I really just want to like binge it. I'm, I really am liking it. I don't know. I was gonna say something else, but this coffee is really freaking good. I remember what I was gonna say, y'all. So when I was talking about the quotes at the beginning of the chapters, I totally forgot that I was gonna talk about the quotes 
that subtly like it talks about magic and like using your magic to its fullest potential and everything but it's like an obvious but subtle you could make a connection to these quotes from like the magic of the witches to real life and like apply it to your life like they're relatable but in a subtle way because obviously she's a witch and she's talking about like literal magic you know but then you could apply it to your life and then it's like oh i realize i haven't been oh this is gonna get deep real quick but i realize i haven't been taking action to my fullest potential like doing things i know i'm capable of but i'm not like putting effort towards it because like i'm scared you know type of shit and it just makes it really relatable that's why i'm liking this so much you could just like interpret it in your own ways and you could use the word magic and like translate it to your skill set your motivation your passions things like that in real life <laughs> and i feel like a fortune cookie why am i talking like this but actually though i don't know i'm just like in that mood i guess i'm in my feels about where i'm at with life and i think it's a changing of the seasons honestly because i'm really affected by like my environment and my surroundings so i think the changing of the seasons and then me moving soon and all the changes and all the healing and transforming that i've been doing the past couple months i think that's what's making this book resonate with me so hard <laughs> that's all i wanted to say <laughs> moving on i guess the truth is i can't leave memories behind about you I hesitate every time every time I don't always think about you but sometimes I do cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on first avenue cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first all of the turns that I had to unlearn back to the surface the feeling of all that we were Okay, so I just finished my sweater weather readathon thing and I really like it besides me messing up. But that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm glad I got to use these leaf stickers finally. And then here's my stabathon <laughs> messy bingo board looking ass. And then another freaking mistake I just realized I wasted a whole two pages. I left them blank, I skipped them. I'm gonna just tape these together because otherwise it's gonna bother me. I'm just gonna like use this glue tape and pretend it didn't happen, you know? I have a massive headache because I haven't eaten since that skillet and Jack and I were supposed to go to the gym, but <laughs> I'm starving, so I think we're just gonna get food instead. I've just been doing this, it's like 8 p.m. now. Mm so hot in my apartment i haven't <laughs> just like looking at how messy my apartment is it's disgusting it's disgusting but yeah i'm gonna do a vampathon spread i don't think i'm gonna do a camp weekend ween spread because that's just too much for me to handle i want to read oh. <laughs> hopefully jack reads with me tonight good morning it's like 11 a.m now Jack and I went to the gym at like 8. I'll insert a picture. It was actually kind of cute. I walked out of my closet and I was wearing this. And then he walked out of the bathroom and he was wearing a Puma shirt and it matched unintentionally. And it was really cute. It was a moment, okay? But my legs are cached and I need to shower. But I just read like, I don't know, like 30 pages of The Nature of Witches. I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm definitely thinking it's gonna be a four star. I don't think it's five because of, again, like the some of the YA writing I just couldn't get behind but I tagged the author in my story yesterday and we were like chatting a little bit yesterday and it was really cute. So today I pretty much have the whole day to myself. Jack gets out of work at like seven or eight. I don't know, we're supposed to go on a hike in Wisconsin tomorrow. And if that's the case, I'll probably end this vlog tonight. That's if I finish The Nature of Witches, but that is my goal to end my Stabathon vlog a day early, whether we go hiking tomorrow or not. But the ideal would be that we do go hiking. If weather permits in Wisconsin. Really want to read White Smoke 
after. But yeah, some of the scenes are really cute between the two love interests, but some of them are really cheesy. But the magic system is immaculate. I love the whole concept of like the different seasons. I love that the book takes place in all four seasons. The first part and the last part, I looked ahead, both are in the summer. So I'm gonna count it for that prompt for Stabathon. This is gonna be for also the supernatural vibes prompt. I think I showed a clip yesterday of me listening to The Haunting of Hill House because I want to read White Smoke afterwards and White Smoke is Get Out meets The Haunting of Hill House and I figured I just want to see the similarities and stuff so the audiobook I have to listen to slower than two times speed which is rare for me but he has like a thick British accent, the narrator. The voice is, real, is like kind of deep so it's hard to hear him articulate the words if it's at a faster speed. Really liking the vibes for The Haunting of Hill House. I've seen the first episode of the show but the bent neck lady was not it for me so I discontinued that activity. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <sighs> I'm like in a weird mood. I think I need coffee and I just need to like clean my environment a little bit. My environment, sure, we'll go with that. I just need to get my butt up and start, you know? I finished setting up all my reading journal spreads for like all the four, well, I did three of the four readathons in my spreads. I don't think I'm gonna make one for Camp Weekend Ween because I'm moving that weekend. So I have a feeling I'm not even gonna like actually try too hard because I'm gonna be so stressed from moving. So my apartment's a freaking disaster still. Let me just expose myself. Like, what is going on? Ew, it looks even worse on camera. But that is all my laundry. Those are the boxes I started packing. That's trash though. So I gotta, I gotta take care of some things. I'm in the mood to like spend some money, <laughs> but I don't have money to spend. So I'm just gonna try to stay home and just do me. I don't know why I'm talking for five freaking minutes. Like, <laughs> bye. I don't always think about you. Till first avenue, that's when I do. The way this is like my this is my third time changing because I didn't feel comfortable in the first shirt I was wearing that y'all saw on my balcony. And then I changed into another like tie-dye long sleeve and I took my trash out and some juices from said trash got all over my shirt. Love that for me. Anyway, I'm now on chapter 29, page 249. It is so difficult to get myself to stop reading this book. I'm definitely gonna finish it tonight. There are like 360 something pages. I'm here for it. I'm ready to finish it. So we've decided we're not gonna go hiking tomorrow, but it is Jack's day off tomorrow. So maybe we'll do something else but also maybe it won't even be in this vlog because if i finish this book tonight i'm ending this vlog because i feel like i have so much footage in this already <laughs> sorry that like no you know what i'm not even gonna apologize oh i'm gonna go to starbucks and get me an everything bagel with cream cheese because that's been the vibe lately i don't know why i've never had an everything bagel until like last week now i'm obsessed and then i think i'm gonna get a pumpkin cream cold brew come back and start doing things. I don't know why I put jeans on or any makeup on, but this is what's happening. I had to go to two Starbucks to get my bagel because the first one I went to ran out. And I'm craving, and when your girl craves, she's gonna get what she wants. <laughs> but I got a free drink. I switched it from a grande to a venti because I remembered I had enough rewards. Hopefully my day turns around because I was like in a mood this morning. <laughs> My goal 
is to get all my clothes onto one hanger each like for each piece because i have so much that i have to like double triple hang everything and i have so much laundry still that i haven't folded but you know my logic is that if it's in my laundry that means i wore it recently all of these clothes are potential no-goes anymore you know i'm gonna unhang like all of my t-shirts and fold them instead and then i'm gonna get rid of a bunch of clothes that is the goal at least it used to be so hard for me to let go of stuff but i think honestly <laughs> after my last breakup it's been easier i've been throwing shit out like nobody's business i've been getting rid of books like nobody's business clothes same thing and clothes and books are usually the hardest for me especially because i don't get rid of gifts so since i've been getting like book mail from you guys i have a lot more books that i'm not getting rid of but clothes we're gonna try harder <sighs> let's do it christina's on and we just noticed my fucking big ass bruise look at that shit she had no idea it was there for like three days. <laughs> Literally, I worked out legs this morning, so I don't understand how I didn't notice. It doesn't like hurt too much. It hurts when I press on it. But like, that's what I did for my drunk book shopping vlog video. Vlog video. <laughs> I keep saying that. Vlog video. Um, so go watch it because um, that's what I did. You got injured for that. I know, for real. Okay, I'm going to go do my clothes now. Bye. Bye. This is my Stabathon vlog. <laughs> We're about to watch Hocus Pocus to check off the watch a scary movie prompt. Yeah, it looks so like, I know. <laughs> oh, this pizza looks fucking fire. I'm so excited. It's damn near 2 a.m. and I made a coffee. <laughs> I have like 80 pages left of this book and I'm determined to not sleep until I finish it. So that's precisely what we're gonna do. Hopefully I make it. I can't, I can't not, you know? It's so addictive. I don't know how to explain it. It's just the vibes. It's really just the vibes. Cause it's not the writing. Like the writing's good. There are a lot of really quotable lines, but it's like not dense. It's not a complex, world but i think that's why i love it so much you know it's a really fast read i'm connected to the characters at least the two main ones i'm just vibing <laughs> oh and so watching hocus pocus checked off the watch a scary movie prompt i also posted on my story a throwback picture of me in one of my costumes from Halloween 2018, which is actually kind of funny because I ended up not doing anything that night. I drove my ass to the bar and I went alone because my boyfriend at the time did not want to go. This was back in Indiana. So I went to the bars by myself and then I called my friend and she was like, girl, it's packed. You might not be able to find me, but like I'm here with these two people and like just look for this, this and that, whatever, we're by wherever. And and I was like, nope, that is way too much anxiety for me. There's a line out the door. I'm freaking cold. I'm just gonna stay in for the night. So yeah, anxiety just ruined Halloween for me. But actually it was the guy I was with cause he just like let me go to the bars alone, you know, instead of just sucking it up and coming with me, whatever. This was like years ago, by the way. So, okay, let's do it. Don't you hate when you finish a book and you don't realize you were on the last page? I thought there was like at least three more pages. Oh my god. Y'all, I had so much fun reading this book. I'm debating on giving it five stars. But it also had that super cheesy writing. But like I had fun, you know? And like I had so much fun annotating it. Maybe I will give it five stars. I think I'm gonna give it five stars. <laughs> it's the vibes for me. Like, I can't get over it. The magic system was flawless. It's really just the writing that would have knocked off a star, but I think I'm gonna give it a five anyway. As Kevin from Irish Reader would say, you don't have to analyze every book under a microscope. You could just give it five stars. So. I think it's a fiver. Wow. Well, that completes my stabathon. Sorry if it's loud. I'm on my balcony. It's like 8 a.m. right now. I stayed up until 3 and then I fell asleep. Coffee didn't help at all. So I slept for like four hours. I've been reading since like 7:30. I loved it.
I absolutely loved it. What a great way to end Stabathon. I don't know if I'm gonna start a new vlog today or just work on some books that I'm like in the middle of. I also like put on my forest app for the first time in a while. It really does help with your concentration if you put your mind to it. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end it here. If you made it to the end of this video, put the lightning bolt emoji because there's lightning on the cover. And if you've read this, you know, put the lightning bolt emoji in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how your Stabathon went in the comments down below as well. Hope y'all have a great day. Stay safe and stay positive always. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.